If you think about a typical bank and you think about it as a pyramid, two thirds of the people process technology and investments and programs are really focused on the middle and back office with about a third focused on customers. But what we are seeing is that tomorrow's banking model is going to look different. The pyramid is going to get upended with extreme digitization, automation and reimagination using AI and generative AI, simplifying and transforming the middle and back office with more and more focus on the front office and customers and platforms and ecosystems. That transition from yesterday to tomorrow Banking modernization continues to be at a crossroads, balancing between different standards and ever-evolving technological advancements. The Banking Industry Architecture Network Summit in Chicago is the place to be in November and discuss these topics. I'm Dr. Effie Pilarinu, Global Fintech and Tech Influencer, and today I'm delighted to speak with Shankar Ramamurthy, Global Managing Partner for Banking and Financial Markets at IBM, and also on the board of Bayan. IBM is the diamond sponsor this year of the Bayan Summit and is a major force behind many exciting ongoing banking transformations. Let me welcome you, Shankar, and thank you for joining us. My pleasure, Efi. I'm looking forward to our dialogue here. Yeah, this year, obviously, in banking, the big theme is all around AI and transformation. And inevitably, that's the focus of the summit. Tell us a little bit about the collaboration with Bayan and IBM. Why is this important in this era of AI transformation? So IBM and our chairman are absolutely committed to open standards. And open standards are key for the industry to collaborate. And if you look at an IBM level, what we've done with Red Hat is an example of how we've created a platform-based approach, which is genuinely open to enable collaboration and value creation. Bion is this organization that's bringing the banking industry ecosystem together, banks, independent software vendors, and service providers to ensure that we can simplify the complexity in banking and make collaboration easier and make it valuable for financial institutions to leverage capabilities from the ecosystem to achieve their business objectives. Now, you talked about generative AI and, and I've been in consulting 35 years, Effie. I started in 1990 in Australia as a consultant. And I can tell you, there's been no time in my consulting career where the rate of change has been greater. On the one hand, that represents extraordinary opportunity. On the other hand, it also presents challenges for financial institutions. So the combination of exponential technologies, the hybrid cloud, AI and now generative AI, and within a couple of years, quantum, are going to change the business model and financial services. And an organization like Bion enables banks to master the change that's, that is rushing at them. The horizon is rushing at financial institutions today. No wonder the theme of the summit this year is together we drive banking modernization. What is unique in IBM's take on banking modernization and how does it align with the buy-in standards? Fundamentally, we believe that the banking business model is getting inverted, turned on its head. If you think about a typical bank and you think about it as a pyramid, two-thirds of the people process technology and investments and programs are really focused on the middle and back office with about a third focused on customers. That's because a typical bank has a massive amount of legacy investments and technology and process. And keeping the bank running, run the bank as people call it, is a genuinely expensive proposition. But what we are seeing is that tomorrow's banking model is gonna look different. The pyramid is gonna get upended 
with extreme digitization, automation, and reimagination using AI and generative AI, simplifying and transforming the middle and back office with more and more focus on the front office and customers and platforms and ecosystems. That transition from yesterday to tomorrow is a multi-year journey. And as banks do that, they're going to be able to master the competing objectives of revenue growth, cost management, which by the way, has been really tough in banking, and management of risk and regulatory compliance posture. And making that transition happen is easier when you've got standards that enable interoperability, composability, collaboration, ability to use third-party capability so you can mix and match and plug and play in today's generative AI world. Indeed, because here we're breaking silos in this transformation, right, to unlock real value and to change the business model. There's no other way. We can't keep the same structures and the same silos. Speaking of which, when we think of agentic AI and smarter risk management, which is a topic that we are all discussing, what can attendees at the summit expect from IBM around these topics? Yeah, so agentic. So by the way, what's happening in, in, in AI and generative AI is organizations are going from using AI to improve their existing processes, which we call plus AI, take an existing process, add a bit of AI and generative AI to it, all the way to what we call AI plus, and some people call AI first, which is reimagine the world in the context of a generative AI model, and then figure out how to add humans into the loop for value creation and exception processing. So you, I'm seeing the full continuum, and it's a bit of a ladder. You start by doing plus AI, and then you progress on to AI first over a period of time. Now, as you do that, we're going to have a agentic technology, multi-agentic capability, process reimagination, process transformation, all of those coming together. And we as IBM are helping our clients in every aspect of that transformation, whether it be our technology capability that comes from IBM technology, including the Watson X portfolio, whether it be working with bodies like Bion on standards for interoperability and collaboration, whether it be our consulting capability, or whether it be some of the tools and methods and accelerators that we bring to enable our clients with that transformation. Now, fundamentally, in banking, there are four things that I see our clients doing to unlock value using generative AI and AI. I'm seeing a fair amount of work around growth, think about it as revenue and think about it as things that touch the customer. A lot of work around cost take out and operational efficiency. A reasonable amount of work in risk and regulatory compliance. How do I have the right posture for regulatory compliance? How do I manage my risk, KYC, AML, uh, and other types of risk that I'm dealing with? And the fourth level is the important level, which is where I've already seen a lot of economic value get unlocked. Information technology is a substantial part of what we do in financial services. And information technology, the process of software development itself is getting accelerated and optimized on the back of Gen AI. And revenue, cost, risk, and technology are the four pillars. And the technology pillar, we are already seeing clients get more than 20% productivity in terms of what they are doing. In other words, if you're a bank, and you've got 12,000 employees in your IT organization, with the same number of employees, you're now able to achieve 14,400 professionals worth of output because every aspect of the software development lifecycle itself lends itself to generative AI. So what are we going to be doing at the Bion Summit? Stay tuned. We're going to be actually demonstrating capabilities that enable our banking clients to go from strategy, through process, through re-engineering and reimagination, to applying that to the software development lifecycle and application portfolio, all the way through to code generation, right? That end-to-end -end journey with up to 30% productivity. We're going to demonstrate tools and assets and capabilities 
that can enable our clients accelerate. We are also going to be on stage with some banking clients talking about how we have helped them or conversely, they have leveraged our capability to achieve business outcomes. Excellent. Shankar, in closing, IBM understands deeply the banking industry. And I want to ask you a last question. If you were to redesign just one thing in a modern bank with AI and IBM's tools, what would you choose? I would say, really, the way I would turn it around, it feels, I always say to my CXO clients, there are three questions you're going to ask yourself in today's generative AI world. Is your strategy ambitious enough because the world is changing, the business model is changing radically? Are you executing and learning fast enough? Do you have enough pilots, proof of concepts and programs happening so you can accelerate your way up the learning curve? Do you have the capabilities and the ecosystem of partnerships to achieve the outcomes you need to? And if the answer to any of these three questions is a maybe, perhaps you need to look at what more you can do to win in today's generative AI world. Exciting times ahead. Very exciting times. Thank you, Shankar. And for our audience, join us at the Bayan Summit for more deep dives into banking modernization. Look forward to seeing you all in Chicago. Bye.